Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is the latest from uh, Pure Motive and Galaxy Mod release number 14. Well, 14.1, and I'll explain what that is in just a minute. This is based off of Android 4.1.1, the VRBL K3 over the air update from Verizon, and it's awesome. It's got uh, some pretty cool features. Three big ones since release number 13. First, fully working multi window from the Galaxy Note 2, which I'll show you here in just a minute. P Droid is also included in this as well. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it, you can search for it on XDA. It's basically a spyware preventer, prevents uh, certain applications by your choice, uh, options that you choose uh, from waking up your phone, draining your battery, checking in, all that kind of stuff. So you control which permissions are accessible to your device through P-Droid. Pretty sweet. You're going to have to read about it. It's kind of complicated, but not really. Also, AOSP MMS has been fixed as well. A lot of people have been using the TouchWiz one because the AOSP has had some bugs, but it is fully working now, so you can now choose that in the Aroma Installer. AOSP MMS working for you now, all right? Speaking of the Aroma Installer, you will be using that. If you haven't used it yet, it's easy to use. Just follow the directions, flash the ROM like normal, do your normal wipes. It'll bring you into the installer. It'll allow you to choose the options you want and then spit you back out on the other side where you'll reboot your phone, and all those options will be in your ROM, okay? So let's go to the settings menu here, and we'll check and see what we're working with in the About Phone section. Android 4.1.1 VRBL K3. If yours does not say that, it's your fault, not the ROM's fault. You have to flash those separately. You can find them over on XDA uh, in the threads there. We are on the stock kernel. I chose the stock kernel. There's four or five you can choose from, including lean kernel and some of the others. I chose the stock kernel just because I normally don't choose the stock kernel. And I figured I'd give it a try. We are on Galaxy Mod RLS 14.1. What's the difference between 14 and 14.1? Well, from what I can read, 14 came out with no uh, brightness slider, and the theming was a little bit different up on the uh, toggles. Well, people wanted that slider back, so we had to revert the theming in order to get the slider back. So that's what 14.1 is. I personally like the slider, so I'm happy he did do that. Um, but that's the difference between the two. Other than that, they're exactly the same. Okay, Let's go and check out the settings menu here. It looks just like any other settings menu, uh, except for it is, of course, themed with the uh, Galaxy theming, which I love the uh, toggles. I absolutely love them. So great job on that, Pure. Tweaks is the only really thing that's different in here, and it's different than any other ROM you're going to see. You do have different options, including the user interface, where you can change the AOSP lock screen. You have the battery bar settings. If you do have that colored bar up here, it's not the ROM. It's you have to turn off your battery bar. It's the MIUI battery bar, okay? The Mod Hub. This one sometimes will open, sometimes it won't. It depends on if he's in it, working in it or not. It did open this time. You do have the option for a ROM update, which is pretty cool. He can push the update right to your phone. General applications, Google apps, Samsung apps, those are all in there in case you forgot to uh, install them. You can download them and install them straight from there. Different audio applications, different mods like the uh, Nexus navigation bar, AOSP touch tones. So the, this is a really cool feature that no other ROM I've seen has, the Mod Hub and the Tweaks section where you have all these different things that you can do right from the phone instead of having to go say to XDA or to Roots and download them separately okay so let's go back to the home screen here beautiful ROM absolutely love it oh there's Beanstown 106 he's hitting me up wondering what's going on he's building a new computer right now so he can update his Jelly Beans ROM uh, but we'll continue with the video here you can see it's very smooth absolutely no lag whatsoever Synergy had a little bit of lag but we did ask for it before it was ready so Echelon did give us a build of Synergy so there is a little lag, but he has fixed that for the new release, which is coming out any time now. So uh, beautiful, no lag whatsoever. Same thing when you go into the application drawer, no lag whatsoever. So very smooth, jelly bean, project butter-like ROM for sure. Okay, uh, let's check out uh, the GPS and see how GPS is doing. I am inside right now, so it's not going to be as uh, good as under a clear sky, but you see it did lock on pretty quick, 13 out of 20, so that's not bad at all. And the other thing I like to do, just to make sure, is to check my location, okay? There were some problems in the past where it would, your GPS would work, but it'd show you like five miles from your house. This is not doing that. It's working 100%. It's showing me in the right place, which is awesome. Let's turn off GPS here, and I know location settings were a problem in Synergy, and you were not able to uh, get 
get any of this stuff in Google Now without your GPS enabled, which you can see is fixed in here. Uh, so Pure Motive has got this running, no GPS on, location settings are enabled, and it does show me my, uh, my, my route home. It's got my forecast and everything there as well. So that's working for you. AOSP messaging, you can see, yes, it's the AOSP messaging app that we've been missing because there's been bugs. It's working 100% now. No more TouchWiz messaging. If you like the AOSP messaging, you just choose that in the Aroma installer, okay? Um, the notification bar I did show you already. There's Bean, so he's saying what's going on. Um, and you can see that it does have the brightness slider in 14.1, where you will not have it in 14.0, okay? So that's just the difference between the two. And, of course, the kernel. Kernel is the stock kernel that I uh, that's overclockable only, or well, the stock 1.1, 1 1.51 gigahertz. 384 megahertz is the minimum. Of course, if you're on lean kernel or one of the other kernels, you can overclock up to 1.9, sometimes 2.1 gigahertz, and you can play with the voltages as well. I just chose stock just for the hell of it today, so uh, I'll probably flash lean kernel here a little bit later on but just trying to see how battery life is on stock okay and last but not least the final feature here is of course the uh, multi window feature that has been added in here okay you can see if you long press the back button it will pop up and will also go away so let's have it pop up real quick and let's play with it okay let's say we open gmail we're going to open up Gmail, but I also want to do GPS status. So what you're going to do is you touch the first application, it will open. The second one, you're going to drag and drop either on the bottom half or the top half. Now you're going to see that I do, oh, okay, we're going to turn the GPS back on here because, see, I'm using two apps at the same time. While up here, I can go through my Gmail apps. Now, if I need more of this application, I'll just click this center bar here and raise it up, and I'll get more of this application. If I want more of the Gmail, I'll bring it down, and I'll get more of that one. Or I can hit one of these buttons over here, and it will actually flip them from top to bottom, okay, which is pretty sweet. And, of course, you can always full screen it as well. Click the back button, and you're going to go back to your location settings and, of course, back to your GPS status. So that's how that works. You're going to press your first application and open it. Then you'll long press and drag to the bottom or top, and then use their center bar to give you more or less of the application and, of course, the uh, rotate to, to, to rotate the applications one to top, one to bottom. Now, something else you might not know, you can also edit down here, and you can take some out of here. If you're not going to use the headphone one, drag it over here. Don't have it in your uh, lineup. I'm not going to use the icon package because I, I access that, that right from the icon changer. I'm not going to use local because I usually don't use local. So you actually can take some of them out of here so you don't have such a long list of uh, applications over here. Just put the ones that you use most often over and the rest of them you can just put on the side area. Okay. Now while this bar is open you can long press and you can move it to either the bottom oops you can long press and move it to either the bottom, the top uh, left or right, it depends on how you want it. You can have it on the right if you want to, okay? You can have it on the bottom if you want to. Actually, hold on, I mean, open it. You can have it on the bottom if you want to. And of course, you can have it on the top if you want to. Now, a little secret if you didn't know, um, while this is closed, you can take this tab and long press it and move it up or down. So if you want your tab to be up top, it doesn't have to be in the center. You can put it down here, say next to Google Maps, you can open it down there. Uh, but while it's closed, you can long press and go up or down. While it's open, you can long press again and move it um, left, right, back, forward, up, down. You know what I'm talking about. Top, right bottom left. So that's how the multi-window feature works. 100%. It has been themed a little bit differently than I did see on Synergy, so they did some theming on that, and it works great. Overall, ROM is wonderful, very smooth, very fast, no problems that I've seen so far. Again, I don't get as deep as some of the other people do in some of the features. I just kind of use my phone and flash lots of ROMs, so there may be some bugs I haven't found yet, but I'm telling you, this is a great one to flash. So give it a try. I'll put the link in the description so you can download the ROM. It's the latest from Pure Motive, it's Galaxy Mod RLS 14.1, which is now universal to all Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, carriers, actually top four carriers, which you'll be able to choose as well. So uh, you definitely get on this, have fun with it. Thanks for watching my video today. My name is Hobart for Android University. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, the top reviews for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. I stay up to date on the latest and greatest on what's going on on your phone. If you want to watch my videos before you flash, if you want to watch my videos while you're flashing, it's up to you. Android University on YouTube. And if you feel like donating, I'm not asking for it. People have requested that I get a donate button, so I put one up. I'll put the link to that down 
there as well if you like what I do. Appreciate you watching today. My name is Eric for Android University. Have a great day. See ya.